Rudolf Schmidt, sometimes known as Richard Rudolf Schmidt, but we will call him Robert Rudolf because this is how we find him in correspondence with family and friends, was a German scholar, although geologist by school, he considered himself more an archaeologist. He was a founder of a research institute for prehistory in Tübingen University in 1921. The rise of the institute was impressive, but uh, as fast as the rise was also its downfall. On the verge of economic crisis, two days before the Black Friday, dried up the flows of the nations, and the institute came into the financial difficulties. Schmidt made commitments that could not be paid by the institute alone, but had to be taken over by the university. The university administration was compelled to initiate proceedings against Schmidt, which ended with the dismissal as head of the institute in 1930. He was accused of various <coughs> charges from forgery, embezzlement, and based on financial resources to breach of his obligation as an academic teacher and scientist, and even scientific fraud. He was previously deprived of his office as head of the institute and dismissed from assistantship. In this lecture, we won't go into the politics behind his accusation, because the exact circumstances are still not fully understood. But merely, we want to mention them as the reason for the necessity of Schmidt's decision to leave Germany. In any case, Schmidt's academic career ended in 1934 when he lost the right for Daniel again. Schmidt was always in a way of science entre entrepreneur until, until the big crisis in 1929. He alone successfully, successfully raised in donation for the Institute a quarter of a million Reichsmarks in only two years. The majority of donation came from Sol Slavian industrialists and Catholic high nobility. Probably in one such occasion, Professor Schmidt was introduced to Countess Els in her brother's castle in Germany. She invited him to her court in Vukova and presumably told him about the historic site along Danube near Vukova, named Vuchelo. On the way to Vukova in 1938, he briefly stopped in Zagreb so he could examine the historic collection, archaeological museum, especially the Vuchelo material ex ex excavated in 1897. He also met with the director of the museum, Professor Viktor Hofiller, whom he, whom he met before in 1923 in Tübingen. During his stay in Croatia, Schmidt excavated three sites, Vucedo, Babska, and Savas near Bosnia. The most famous excavation of site Gradac Vucedo, Schmidt started in rather interesting circumstances. Uh, he was sure of his ability to secure necessary financial means for exca excavation, so he started excavating without the financial resources promised from the Serbian government in Belgrade, funded only by the smaller amount courtesy of Countess Els. She was also kind to give him tools, workers, and place in her barns to store excavated material. Also, he never asked for necessary permits and approval of the Croatian Ministry of Culture. So he started excavation in 1938 of the biggest tell and most important, important prehistoric site in Croatia. We could say bravely, without money, permits, and other settlement. Only after seven days, he contacted Professor Schofler in Zagreb to inform him of his progress. Hofler reacted without hesitation and sent his assistants from the museum and university to oversee the excavation. Uh, there were always uh, present two, curator, two curators and one assistant from the university, uh, Dr. Clemens, Dr. Mutter Schepper, and uh, Dr. Anton Bauer. All, all three were really uh, very extremely suspicious about and distrustful of Schmidt's intentions and had repeatedly expressed doubts about Schmidt's expertise, even had some concerns uh, over the real motives of his arrival to Croatia. They arrived to Wuchito uh, 10 days after the beginning of, beginning of excavation. Uh, the site Wuchito is a multi layered tail site located on the right bank of the Danube, with cultural layers of over 3 meters in thickness, some, sometimes even 5. Uh, excavation of Wuchito lasted for 4 months without break uh, and approximately uh, 700 meter square meters worth of dig up. First reactions of the methodology of excavation were not exactly positive. It was apparent that Schmidt was only interested in layer of Wuchelo culture and older, while those above, medieval, in this case Slavic, were not of great importance to him. When Croatian archaeologists arrived, the settler reported that till their arrival, documentation wasn't done, no pictures were taken, and no plans drawn. Viktor Hofler traveled often to Bukovar to oversee the excavation. His biggest fear was the material leaves the country, so he eagerly fought for its preservation. It seemed that Schmidt didn't object to the idea that the material stays in Croatia, and this he stated in writing. See, his condition was to retain the right of scientific interpretation on publica publication of results. Understandably, that was approved. Uncom uh, upon completing the excavation, material was saved for the museum, 
uh, land owner Els Manor and Schmidt transferred their rights to the material to archaeological museum in Zagreb. All done, of course, for a certain fee. Uh, the year 1939 was all about interpretation of the material, uh, packing and shipping it to Zagreb. From March to July, Mirko Shepard has repeatedly visited Bukovar. He helped Schmidt with working on material. Um, Overall, 90 crates uh, came to Zagreb in sealed train carriages. Since then, Victor Hoffeler tirelessly sought funding from the printing of publication. However, he refused uh, offered financial means from Germany. He wanted to be all in expense of the museum and Croatia. After many difficulties in trying to get funded during the war, publication of the book Bucedo, signed by Robert Will Schmidt, finally saw daylight in 1945. After the excavation, Vucido, in Vucido, Schmidt leaves Croatia and heads back to Germany. But with new political situation in Croatia, with founding of independent state of Croatia, puppet state of Germany and Italy, uh, in 1941, which was um, established in part of Axis occupied Yugoslavia, he has new opportunity to continue excavation in the area around Danube River. His plan were to excavate in three places on the bank in uh, Syria, following major traffic roads between the north and pre prehistoric Greece. In the midst of World War II in 1942, Schmidt began with excavation of archaeological site Grada Sarvash, as he planned on the bank of Drava River near Osi. Financial means for the excavation came mainly from Berlin, where he was creation as Annenberger, obtained money. But, be but before, he, before he got funded, he had to convince Wolfram Sievers himself in importance of Sarvash excavation. They met in Zagreb in autumn 1941. Schmidt didn't have a problem getting funding where he displayed his idea about cultural culture, culture being a cultural link between North and pre hellenistic Greece. This theory was well accepted in those days Croatia because it was just one more evidence for Gothic theory of origin of Croats, which is based on the premise that it that in the identifies Croats with the gods, claiming that Pan-Slavic idea was artificially imposed. This hypothesis was the only supported theory by the regime of independent state of Croatia over two, over two theories, the Slavic theory and the Iranian theory. Exceptional strong support for his work Schmidt received from the Deutsche Volksgruppe in Croatia, with head headquarters in Osim. German national group, groups were founded in 1941 in Osim as a special body of the German minority in the proposition of the independence Croatian state. The group functioned as an independent community of Germans, organized on the model of the state with the principle of national socialism and the leader of the head of the community. After the founding of the group, the major institutions have, be, have been set up. One of them was the Department of Culture, with the goal of founding uh, the German Homeland Museum in Osip, Heimitz Museum, as the central German cultural institution. The main purpose of the museum was collecting artworks and objects with cultural and historical value for German heritage. But at the end, the museum collected also the artworks confiscated with evidence with, uh, with the eviction of Jews and Serbian families. As a museum director was appointed historian Robert Schmidt from Novi Sad, not to be confused with Robert Rudolf Schmidt. The Deutsche Volksgruppe in Croatia contributed to Schmidt's work by finding him a house in Osik. Uh, he waited for the money from Germany for furnishing the house before moving in. At one point there was a problem with the transfer of the money from Germany to Croatia, so Sievers requested the leadership of Deutsche Volksgruppe in Croatia to help Schmidt set up, set up working facilities until, until he finds a way to solve the problem with the transfer. The money arrived late from Schmidt's private account that he had in the Munich branch of Dresden Bank. Excavations in Sarvash, in Sarvash were carried out in two phases with breaks throughout the years 1942 and 43, altogether lasted 28 weeks. The excavation resulted in a large amount of archaeological material, which was analyzed and restored in the premises of Schmidt's house in Oslo. At this time, Schmidt was familiar with the Croatian law of the protection of cultural heritage, uh, which had stated that the excavation must be carried out professionally, under the control of the state, and that the art art artifacts have to be included in the museum collections and preserved and analyzed by experts. All exports of objects with cultural and historical value were <coughs> prohibited. Excavations in Sarvash ended quite suddenly due to the worsening of the war situation. Towards the end of 1943, Schmidt got the order from Sievers to leave Osim, the Osim returned to Germany. After Allied bombing in spring of 1944, he and his family left Osim. Before he left, he entrusted the material from Sarvash to German national group so it could be sent to him in Germany. 
Before the, war, the, before the war ended, the material was taken by the order of Das Anna Nerve along with the other cultural historical object, object from Heimat's Museum to Lamber Castle in Austria, where Robert Schmidt, the director of the museum, was staying. <laughs> After the war, material was moved to Belgrade and uh, still in unknown circumstance, uh, circumstances. According to the writings, the material was re repatriated in Czechoslovakia when they found the train in the objects caught in Prague during the Allied bombing. Altogether, there was 111 crates of various artifacts. First division of the departed material took place in Belgrade, but when it was divided between Archaeological Museum in Zagreb, Military Museum in Belgrade, and Archive of Vojvodina in Novi Sad. Materials were shipped from Belgrade to Zagreb in 1946 in 18 crates, and then material from Savas was divided between um, Zagreb and Osijek Museum. Unlike, this is the material from Savas. Unlike the materials, the documentation has not been material, the documentation has not been preserved. The only preser preserved items are a block of stratigraphic drafts from 1942 and plates for the publication. The preserved documentation reached Professor Milicic in Heidelberg, where it remained until his death. It is not currently known where the documentation is. According to the literature, the documentation burned out during a bombing at the end of the war. In fact, Professor uh, Dimitrievich states that uh, Schmidt had a final manuscript of the monograph at, monograph at the end of 1944, but all writings and documentation burned out on out, uh, history back to Germany. In the, in the publication of Burk Buchadov, Schmidt gave a sh short survey of the research done in Sarge, publishing some items and some stratigraphy, and, and the stratigraphy of the northern profile. The lack of documentation, but also the knowledge of unprofessional approach in excavation, brought a great deal of difficulties later on approaches to dealing with Sarge material. Uh, a, re a, revision of, a revision of stratigraphy made by, first by Milicic, uh, fir made first by Milicic and then Professor Dmitrievich. Uh, he concluded the Saras stratigraphy on the barrel surface is almost useless. After the war, uh, Schmidt failed to re-enter into science world back in Germany. He applied for his position in Tübingen and also for position in Munich. He died in 1950. Uh, the book Wuchado was um, his publication of Wuchado was the first publication that gave complete interpretation of one site excavated in Croatian ter uh, territory. Unfortunately, graphic documentation of the excavation is more schematic and insufficient for verification of stratigraphic data given on conclusion. On this occasion, we will address particularly Nordic theory presented in Burgulcedo. In the spirit of the uh, current national social ideology of the Third Reich, Schmidt saw Burgulcedo culture as the carrier of ideas and culture influence between Nordic cultural circle and pre Hellenistic Greece. Schmidt identifies pre Indo Europeans with Nordic race and a culture of Northern European common. Schmidt's theory fitted in the current ideology of the Third Reich on the superiority of the Nordic race over the members of other races and uh, Homo Sigmiensis are, according to Schmidt, members of one of the branches of the Nordic megalithic, Nordic megalithic population. Which of the race are people uh, of high growth with a long, narrow face and fine hair <coughs> forehead, where the rulers of the Danube Drava South Triangle after Baden set, Baden settlers retreated before the onslaught of the stronger Wuchadol people. All conclusions of the Wuchadol race, Schmidt uh, uh, gives analysis of four skulls found in Wuchadol layer. According to Schmidt, Wuchadol race spread from the north to southeast Europe, conquering strategically important elevated places along the Drava and the Danube to Zemo. Uh, and, and here the first Nordic penetration of Danube, Danubian region starts. In the Croatian Danube era, Wuchadol culture developed at its highest peak. Uh, on the heritage of northern megalithic culture from the homeland on the Indo-Europeans. Northern Germany and southern, uh, southern Scandinavia. Wuchlo people, after several centuries in the Danube area, merged with local elements and further penetrated into, the, into Greece. That were, all, that were all Schmidt's conclusions. A recent excavation on site of Wuchlo began in 1981, and they are still underway with the break between 1990 and 2001, when they were suspended because of the war and the reintegration of the Danube region. Unfortunately, only a few smaller publications were published during the excavation conducting over 20 years. For now, the Burg is still the only complete publication of this site, and therefore the relevant work for understanding Buchado culture in Croatia. Two, three minutes left. Okay, I'm done. This is almost last.
Uh, wood, so this is the conclusion. Uh, uh, so uh, excavation of wood though. No documentation has been preserved except working photographs and and some I don't know, some something. Published. Uh, it was all published in the book wood uh, We can say that it was excavated rather poorly uh, because with the revision of material, we see that the material is mixed in one units from different cultural layers. Uh, material was collected selected, selectively, uh, disregarded uh, for medieval layer, and it was excavated with agenda. Sarvash excavation uh, documentation has not been preserved. Uh, he abominated the excavated materials and heavily violated the, uh, thereby the law and ethic principles. In, and at the conclusion of that, material is now divided between two museums in Croatia. And excavation of Babska, no documentation at all. Uh, the excavation was done very poorly again. And material is, in our, material is now in archaeological museum without any context. But nevertheless, uh, beginning of August, people of Babska celebrate the work of Robert Schmidt through folk art event called Schmidt's Days. This year they were celebrating 104 years from first scientific inspiration of archaeological site Babska. Thank you so much.